Hey, what is up everybody? Chuck here and welcome to today's daily Pokemon Go video. You're actually probably going to get more than one video from me today, but that's beside the point. With raids being all the hype in Pokemon Go, today we're going to be counting down the top five best raid bosses in Pokemon Go currently, as well as some very cool screenshots from raids all across the world that I know you guys are going to enjoy. Now, quick reminder, you no longer have to be level 35 or 31 or even 28 to participate in a raid. All you have to do is be level 25 and raids are no longer only at sponsored gym they are all over the place as you're about to see so without further ado on to the top five now keep in mind raids are ranked on a scale of one to five with five being legendary and four being the current maximum level for a raid coming in at number five we have a pokemon that i thought honestly would be closer to the top of this list but nonetheless here it is a level four snorlax raid 25,000. 419 CP. So with all of these Pokemon you're about to see, you're probably going to need at least a group of three, maybe four, maybe even five, depending on your current level. Holly, appreciate you sending that one in. On to number four. Next up, we've got a screenshot sent in by Blake. And again, I'm not really sure why this one's ahead of Snorlax, but it is. Venusaur is currently the fourth highest CP Pokemon you can face in a raid battle. 26,921 CP. Good luck soloing that. I know there's going to be somebody out there who claimed to have solo a Venusaur. You're lying. On to number three. By the way, there's a couple Pokemon that just missed the top five. Pokemon like Lapras and Blastoise and some of the evolutions. So if you're wondering where they are, they're around the 20,000 range, but definitely not as high as these guys. So at number three, Charizard. Jim sent in this screenshot and the CP is ridiculous. 28,000. 485. Although I feel like a Charizard raid would be a lot easier to take down because of how many good water Pokemon there are in the game. Regardless, thank you very much for sending that one in, Jim. On to the top two. Now, there are only two raid bosses in Pokemon Go currently that have a CP of over 30,000. You're about to witness the first one right here. It is a Rhydon from Aaron over on Twitter. 30,512 CP. That is ridiculous, and Rhydon does seem to be one of the rarest Pokemon that you can encounter in a raid. Uh, there's also some information going around that says Dragonites and Blissies are currently in raids, and that is incorrect. Nobody's seen them, so I doubt they're actually out there. But definitely, by far, the highest CP raid boss in Pokemon Go. We all know what it is. Tyranitar at 34,000. 707 CP. And like I said, you're not going to be able to solo this. You're going to need three, four, five, maybe six people to take out a 34,000 CP Tyranitar. Hey Haas, thank you very much for sending that one in. If any of you guys, by the way, encounter anything really cool after a raid, like a perfect IV Tyranitar, or you get like eight TMs or something after completing a raid, send it to me. Now onto some really cool sightings I've had sent in over the past 24 hours because a lot of people have yet to actually encounter a raid, so these should cheer you up a little bit or just make you really, really angry. Anyway, first up sent in by Alex. He's got seven raids on his nearby. There's literally only room for six of them to show on that screen and he's got seven. And three of them are level three raids, which are Pokemon like the Evolutions, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, stuff like that. So thank you very much for sending that one in. Seven raids is ridiculous. I actually have one going down in about 50 minutes that I'm really excited to go hit, uh, hoping for a muck because it would be the first muck I ever get to catch in the wild. Anyway, next up, Slidex are sent in this sighting of two level four raids taking place within like 50 feet of each other. And a lot of cool Pokemon can come from those level four raids as you just saw in that countdown I just did. So maybe it was like a Tyranitar or a Charizard. That would be really, really cool, right? But that is exactly what happened to Turth. He also had four nearby raids, two of them two of the best Pokemon you can get in a raid, a Tyranitar and a Charizard. Also a level two raid and a level one Magikarp raid, which brings us to the coolest raid sighting and probably something a lot of you guys have been wondering about, a Magikarp raid. Now, that may seem really depressing. Who wants to battle a big Magikarp, a 1200 CP Magikarp? Nobody, or do you? Because Troy sent in this screenshot of a shiny Magikarp he caught after completing a Magikarp raid. Now, this isn't the first time that this has happened, so it's definitely out there, it's definitely possible. You can catch a shiny Magikarp after completing a raid. So next time you're driving around and you see a Magikarp at a raid and you're like, I don't wanna battle that, what a waste of time. Just know, it could be shiny and it probably has much better odds of being shiny than actually like finding a shiny Magikarp in the wild. So if you don't have one yet, 
find a Magikarp raid and battle it. So there you have it. Those are the best Pokemon you can currently encounter in raids. I would say those five plus Magikarp are the best just because Magikarp shiny is pretty cool. There are going to be plenty of Pokemon Go videos coming your way that have to do with raids and other cool sightings. So make sure if you enjoy that you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe if you're new here. And if you're not new here, turn your notifications on because if you miss an upload, well, you're gonna be way behind. You don't wanna be way behind. The people who are way behind are currently sitting at home thinking that you have to be level 35 to raid a gym. <laughs> I love you guys, take it easy.